Hey Cleveland and Cavs fans, this is Anderson Barajal. I just arrived in Chicago. I'm on my way to the hotel. So, are you all ready for tonight? I am. Let's do this. Thank you, Malika, and good luck, everyone. The 14th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft presented by State Farm will go to the Cleveland Cavaliers. I mean, going to Chicago was it was a, it was a great trip. I mean, I had fun. Uh, I was excited for the draft. I knew that the chance to to get uh, any other uh, uh, pick uh, besides the num number 14 was was small percentage to get it. Hey, <laughs> we got the 14th pick. I'm excited about it. We know this draft is going to be pretty deep. I know we're going to do a good job and get someone that's going to buy into what we have going on in Cleveland. We had an amazing season this season. Next season is going to be even better with that piece right there. A lot of my friends gave me a hard time after the draft. Uh, really, like you couldn't get anything better, but who knows about the, the draft and uh, the, the lottery knows that. It was the, the only chance was for number one, two, three, four, or fourteenth, and it was point one, point two, point three, something like that, right? But I had fun. It was good. I went to Chicago, being part of this. Uh, I have been part of this organization for so long. Uh, played here for twelve and a half seasons. To be uh, in Chicago representing the Cavs uh, meant a lot to me. I appreciated the opportunity that. That Kobe gave me that Dan Guber and, and, and the franchise to be there, uh, being one of the faces of the Cleveland Cavaliers, that was awesome. As an artist, I think my job is to investigate and rethink things that are around me in my everyday experience. And by sort of repackaging them and reinterpreting them, I'm able to show something new to an audience, right? That they may not have seen before, or that could be kind of unveiled, right, to them. Uh, whenever I'm working with a brand that's infiltrated into my work, I'm looking for like the most distilled version of that entity. And as often happens with brands, this could be a basketball team, it could be a clothing brand, it could be a car brand. Over time, they begin to layer things over each other, right? And you might have an influence from one era, a colorway from another era, something that's supposed to reference, and it can get quite muddy at a certain point, right? So. You know, when I took the position as creative director of the Cavs, one of the first things that I thought about with the team and with, you know, the, the design department was going back through the history of all of our graphics, dating back to the origins of the team, some of the colorways that we've played with. Um, you know, Wine and Gold has been colorway um, for, since the beginning, um, but it's been interpreted in many different ways. And as we went to sort of think about where's the next chapter of our design uh, heritage going, uh, we spent a lot of time, right, looking through all of this history, thinking about what were the uh, significant design gestures that were uh, put forward by our team in the 90s, um, in the aughts, during our, our championship season. And, and what could we sort of pull out and distill? Just personally, I have you know so many memories of. I mean, this logo was uh, such a kind of special era for me. Um, the V, you know, in the Cavs here with the basketball uh, was something that I had this memory of. Um, you know, having a faded hoodie with that on it. And uh, thinking about color a lot as well, you know, uh, in my own work, in my, in my own artwork, I work with a very reductive color palette. Um, most of my work is black and white um, or very slight shades of things. And I think that our color palette for the team, as we've been layering stuff over and over, 
you know, we're wine and gold, but our gold has been represented by this kind of very bright yellow for a number of years. Um, our wine has like different qualities where it looks more red sometimes, more wine. Uh, even like the depth of our black, right? It's been um, articulated in different ways with pinstripes, um, championship uh, jerseys had like a very distinctive character with the giant C. So thinking about how do I bring all of these elements together in a way that is going to both be new, but feel familiar to the fans. You know, I was born in Cleveland, my father was born in Cleveland, my grandfather was born in Cleveland, and sports in Cleveland has just, it's just been a big part of my life, whether it's with the Browns um, or the Cavs. And picking out these specific moments for me were both about the experience of what the team was like it, in that era. I wanted a little bit of a mashup of the past. You know, I never thought to myself, I'm gonna start from scratch and create a brand new logo. I felt that that was not really genuine to the team or to the way that I work in general. Um, so much of what I think about as an artist is reforming things for people to, to see in a different way, to see in a different light um, and kind of repackage them. And um, that can be a magical experience. In thinking about the design of the logo, the biggest use case for that is on the jerseys. So I spent a lot of time thinking about how this is gonna sit on the jersey. Um, if we look at the design language of all of these jerseys, there's a lot going on, right? There's multiple different colorways in here. There's um, this side trim. There's a, a, a kind of edge detailing around it. There's some sheen. We've done a jersey that I think is going to look very unique within the league. It's very clean, it's very reductive, it's very modern and simple, and it's immediately identifiable. And I think like the cut of it also is like a powerful, right? So that it's also about how are the players gonna feel in this? And I think they're gonna feel strong and dominant in it. I mean, one of the things that I think is interesting is if you look at sports iconography in general, it's typically designed by an in-house design team that, that works for a team. They're very much invested in sports, th those fans, that specific idea. And one of the things that I've wanted to do in coming into the team in this position is to really broaden both our fan base, but also bring in other cultural elements, right? Basketball everywhere, but specifically in Cleveland is such a unifying force for the, the community there. And I think bringing in other cultural institutions. Um, being an artist and being in a position to influence the design language and the graphics, it's, it's not a better perspective necessarily, it's just a different perspective than a designer who's been working in this kind of sports iconogra iconography uh, universe. And we know as a team, when we look at our fan base, we have a lot of longtime fans that have followed the team since they were children. And so, I wanted to be respectful of that heritage and, and the thinking around that. And also, you know, pay homage to like all of the players and fans that have come before um, who supported the team to get to the point that we're at now. So we want to communicate this idea that this is a new era for the team. We have these incredible young talents who have done amazing things so far, um, but we do feel as we enter this new era that we're, we're giving them their own mark, right? To own and to build on. And it respects the past, right? It's showing this kind of evolution. Um, and it's a, it's a very reductive and simple, modern, power, powerful graphic that I think our players are gonna be super happy to, to be in. Having a new graphic, a new team logo, paired with our new arena that's been recently renovated, um, has all this incredible world-class art in it. I think all of those things paired together, it sets us up really well um, you know, going into this new era. Oh, 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 excuse us. Wait till it. 
Oh, wow. Damn. What did you say, Ev? Rookie first team. Yes, sir. Congratulations, bro. Yeah. 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 Hey, go, go, go. Yeah. Use your face on it. Oh, that's awesome. You. Welcome to the 2022 NBA Draft presented by State Farm. Good evening and welcome to the 2022 NBA Draft at Barclays Center. With the first pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Paolo Bancaro. Cavaliers on the clock. Chris? Yes, sir. Um, the Cavaliers will select Ochai Akbaji. Got it. Ochai Akbaji from Kansas. Yes, thank you. Got it. Thanks, Kobe. Cleveland Cavaliers select Ochai Abaji from the University of Kansas. I love this story. Abaji grew nine inches from his freshman year to his junior year in high school. Four years at Kansas, 22 years of age in high school, ranked 334th in the country in the class of 2018. Didn't receive an offer from a Power 5 school till his senior season, and now hearing his name called in the draft. Most improved candidate throughout his college career. Prior to his senior year at Kansas, the first team All-American had the opportunity to work out and learn something new from one of the NBA's best. All right, I'm joined by Ochai and his mom, Erica. Ochai, first of all, big smile. Talk yeah. us behind that smile this evening. Uh, just all the, all the hard work um, that's gone into, you know, to get to this point. Um, you know, I'm thankful for my parents, all the support system around me, and, uh, you know, I'm just blessed. What have you seen in your son that allowed this moment to be realized? Oh, goodness. Just a hard worker. He just, I mean, puts so much work. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a couple. <laughs> um, he just puts so much hard work into, you know, everything, and it's paid off. So we do have our coaching basketball ops and our coach that's going to want to talk to you at some point okay. when we get a quick break, but they're, they're super excited. Congrats, boy. Congrats, boy. Yeah. Hello. Ochai, this is Kobe Oldman. You also got head coach JB Bickerstaff, man. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Thank you, guys. What's going on, man? How you feeling? Man, man, I'm feeling feeling great right now. Um, I don't even know how to describe it, but uh, thank you, guys. That's all I can say. I'm just so thankful. So. No, absolutely, man. Rock, Chalk, Jayhawk, man. We got one yeah. in the building now. We're excited. Yep, yep. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna give you the coach. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, coach? Not much. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Yeah. No, I'm ex I'm excited. Yeah. No, we're looking forward to you being a part of it. Uh, you fit as a person first and foremost, which is what we care about. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously your skill set brings something to the table that's unique for us. Um, it's going to help us become a better team. So. We're excited. We're looking forward to having you. Uh, anything you need, just let us know. Uh, but we'll see you in the morning for sure. Okay. Cool. Right. Cool. Enjoy your night, my man. Okay. Yeah, enjoy your you. night. All right. All right. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yep. One of the mock drafts said, you know, me coming here. Um, got, people would tell me I wouldn't pay attention to the mock drafts, but I would always hear about them. People would always tell me, oh, da da da, Cavs or or this team or that team. But I had no idea um, leading up into the moment, moment that uh, Adam Silver said it. Uh, so it was really just, you know, a, a surreal moment, just being in that moment, um, hearing my name called, and obviously, you know, um, being blessed by, by, you know, be chosen by the Cavaliers. Well, he's so, what's unique about him is, is uh, usually with, with, with great shooters, you don't get incredible length. So he's also, he has a great wingspan, like 6'10 wingspan, even though he's about 6'5". And so he can really shoot, but he can also shoot the gap. He can guard. He's got toughness. He was coached by Bill Self for four years. Um, same college program, um, and so we really like his makeup. 
Um, and, and he's solid. He knows he's got to defend and make shots to make it in the league, and I think he brings that right away. Chris? Yep. Yeah. All right. The Cavaliers will survive Khalifa Jop. Khalifa Jop. Got it. Thank you. Grand Canary, got it. Thank you. All right, guys, we're keeping it in the family. <laughs> Kobe, you have one minute. All right, Chris. Cavaliers will select Isaiah Mobley. Got it. Isaiah Mobley from USC. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Kobe. Thank you. Yep. What's going on? It's Kobe. Good, <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, Appreciate no doubt. I'm, I'm here with Coach right now. He wanted to say a couple words to you. Okay, sounds good. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, good, good. Good. Hey, we're excited, man. Um, you know, we've been going through this process and paying attention for a long time. Uh, and we're excited about what you can bring and how you can help us. So, um, I think Kobe and him will talk to you about, you know, what's next, but we're looking forward to having you be a part of this thing with us. Thank you, Coach, man. I appreciate the opportunity, man. I'm coming with my heart out on it. It's a great work. All right. I know you will. <laughs> appreciate you. Hold on. Here's Kobe. When can we get you to Cleveland, man? Uh, whenever. I'm ready. <laughs> all right. We'll work on it, man. We got to get you as soon as possible. Get ready for summer league, all right? All right. Sounds good, man. All right. Enjoy your night. Right. Yeah, I know that. Hey. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Some idea. Um, we weren't sure if it was going to be here. There was other teams that had some pretty high interest. Um, uh, but glad I ended up here and, and got this opportunity. We we're back in our hometown, um, Temecula. Uh, I was with all my family, brother, mom, Evan, um, and a bunch of friends and family as well. And um, we were just watching um, throughout the draft and then uh, got to the second round, started paying attention a little more. Uh, heard my name at 49 and um, now, yeah, now I'm here. Uh, it was an excellent night and I'll never forget it. Didn't know that was gonna happen. I just thought I was just gonna get off the plane. Just you know, coaches, everyone was gonna be there. But I opened up the hangar and I saw everybody in there and the, just that energy getting off the plane. Um, still, you know, was was carrying on from Kansas and that fan energy that that you have. But now it's just the whole entire city and state. Thank you. Very very meaningful to the organization to have this group here this morning on this day. Um, it's something that you saw outside. It's a great feeling, and I, I feel the support here. Of course they do. Yeah. Two pilot. Two pilot. Two pilot. Come from? Did you put one? Two or six? I'm poor. I'm poor. I'm poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. That's great friend. It's great English. The fun part of our job is, you know, building something that you can be a part of that's sustainable and successful. Um, obviously being able to work with Kobe and the front office crew in a partnership is amazing. The second piece of that is finding the right people to fit in uh, and to put on the court and build the team around. And you guys saw last year, 
you know, whatever the ups and downs and injuries or whatever may have been, like our guys were extremely together. Uh, and they were bought into something that was bigger than themselves. So as we were going through this draft process, uh, we wanted to make sure that we found people who amplified that, um, people who could add to that. Um, at the draft um, in the green room, like what the emotions were like uh, when you got the call, and kind of just walk us through what that was like for you. Uh, up until up until that moment, I got called. It was just you know, um, I was just blessed to be in that that position uh, just to begin with. Um, it was a it was a really special moment, not only for me but for my family and uh, for my friends to be there. And um, obviously, you know, being here is uh, it feels at home, and I'm excited to to get to work. Uh, first, thank you so much for this opportunity. I am so excited for start here because uh, my game I is the uh, I'm the Defend, defensive player. I like defense. I like uh, guard, point guard, switching every pick and roll. But I need to prove a lot. But step by step, I need to prove uh, my basketball. I'm extremely excited. You know, um, get to play on a big stage with um, some of the other drafted guys and just kind of show the world what I can do. Just hopefully win. Um, that's that's the biggest thing I like to do. In a, an unreal experience and. It's Pretty much what you've always dreamt of um, growing up playing basketball. So I think it's starting to sink in as well. Um, but yeah, it's been cool to be around the guys as well. Are you looking forward to Vegas? Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, the last time I've been on the court was the national championship. So um, I'm more motivated to get back out there and keep doing some winning. But overall, man, let's just keep that competition. You guys are doing a great job, okay? And let's just hit the bill so when we get out to Vegas, we're ready to make some noise. Okay? Bring it in. This is the first ever Supermax contract we've ever given out in the franchise's history. Uh, but with this, you get the keys to a franchise and a city. 